Welcome to Latin per diem. Today we again look at Cicero's De Officiis. Sed tamen nostra legens non multum a peripateticis dissidentia quoniam utriqua Socratici et Platonici. Volumus esse de rebus ipsis utera tuo judicio nihil enim impedio orationem autem latinam efficies profecto legendis nostris pleniorem. Here we see Cicero continuing in his, vi in his advice to his son Marcus as to why he should study Latin as well as Greek. He says, but nevertheless, legens. Now, legens is a masculine, singular, nominative, and nominatives are always in Latin and only the subjects of finite verbs, or they are modifying finite verbs, or they are restating finite verbs as the appositive. And here, legens is the subject of a finite verb, namely efficies. Now, some might say it modifies an implicit subject, like Marcus, and that's possible, but I think it's more natural to take it simply as the subject. But nevertheless, in reading, now legens as a participle is, of course, a verbal adjective. And in its verbal register, it can take an object if it's active, and this one is. Therefore, it takes nostra as its object. Nostra is a substantive. It is neuter, plural, and accusative. By substantive, I mean an adjective that is being used as a noun. Nostra also has a modifier, namely dissidentia. And so it, of course, is neuter, plural, accusative, like the word it modifies. And it is a participle itself. It is from the participle dissideo, to disagree with or differ from. But nevertheless, in reading, nostra are things that differ. And how do they differ? They differ non multum, not much from the peripatetics, that is, those followers of Aristotle. And now we receive a parenthetical expression. Cicero is going to tell us why they differ so little, his writings from those of the peripatetics. He says, because utrique, both of us, volumus esse, want to be followers of Socrates and followers of Plato, Socratici et Platonici. Now here with esse, we see an interesting um, construction. Whenever something is predicated of something else, when, it, when, for example, B is predicated of A, that is, B is said to have some, I'm sorry, A is said to have some quality B, and whenever the verb esse is used to express this predication, A and B must be the same case. If esse is in a finite form, like this, and we want to say, for example, the man is good, we're est bonus, then of course they're both nominative. But, if it is indirect statement, for example, then they would both be accusative. I say that the man, virum esse bonum, is good, as we've covered previously. Here, utrique, nominative, is being connected to Socratici and Platonici via esse, and that's why they are each nominative, because we both wish to be Socratic and Platonic, both himself and the peripatetics. De rebus ipsis utera tuo judicio. Here we have utera. This is an imperative in the second person singular from the deponent verb utor, taking tuo judicio as its object, so to speak. Actually, this is an ablative of means. He says, about these very matters, use your own judgment. Please join us next time for the remainder of this sentence.